When you hear apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur, you just want the whole club to be looking at her. Makes me want to puke. It makes me want to vomit. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Possible Outcomes, where the possibilities are endless. We are your hosts. I'm Nick. And I'm Lily. And we are two mixed girls living in a black and white world. Every week, we are going to get into the nitty gritty of life as we know it, but with the joy of two people who refuse to be told what to do. We drop new videos every Wednesday, so like, subscribe, and enjoy the ride. This week's episode is a get to know us. Are we a little late to the game? Probably. Yes? No? You know what? You decide. Uh, we thought it would be really fun to share a little bit more about ourselves with all of uh, all of you by answering a plethora of questions from none other than the world-renowned and clearly promoted by the New York Times Women's World Magazine. Uh, we're going to link the link below so that you can ask these questions to people in your life and get to know them a little bit better. Um, and if you have any questions that you want to ask us, you want us to answer, please pop them below in the comments and we will get to them in a round two. All right, Lil, so where do you want to start? Oh, I'm so excited. Um, sure, 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 sure. Um, go first in asking or answering? Either. Okay. Either. Either, either or? These, either these are or. good questions. So I was looking for like questions to help me because we wanted to do like a Q&A we wanted people to get to know us as people and why we think the way that we think and why we are the way that we are and I was looking for questions and I came across this huge list it's like 250 plus questions I'm like you know what this would be really great for like a first date if you freeze Mm -hmm. you know if you're an introvert and you like don't like have just the natural like so tell me about yourself i want to know where you're from who are you why are you you know what size are your shoes like i want to know everything about you what size are your shoes mentality <laughs> 11 wide baby 11 wide 11 wide um and so i was like these are great just in general and we may not even know these answers about each other because like yeah we're friends we've been friends for gosh a long time but mm. you know these questions don't They're like answers that like come up in normal conversations, but also maybe not. So it could be like good for us as well. So I I was just really excited about uh, about it. So what is okay? So I know probably I know a good question that you're probably going to ask me, um, but just pertaining to uh, another thing that I do. Uh, But so we're going to just kind of start with just just the questions and I like this one a lot because I don't I don't okay so my first question to you Mick yes is do you believe in love at first sight okay so this question if you had asked me when I was 18 I would have said yeah Mm -hmm. absolutely love at first sight like mm." (laughs) now I'm like definitely like lust at first sight Mm mm-hmm but I got to see, like, open your mouth. So, like, love after first conversation. Mm. I can get into that. Mm-hmm. But love at first sight? I don't know. I yeah. Don't I'm going to say I'm gonna say no. I think love after the first bite for me. So, like, I, after, I think having a meal with somebody is crazy intimate. Like, it's you know, not... Always- like let's go grab a coffee sure 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 but like sitting down in a restaurant having a meal with somebody is so intimate because you are like at your most vulnerable except for like when you're sleeping you know like you cannot there's you are you are like feeding your body hopefully delicious food you're chewing you have no idea if there's food all over your face are you spitting into their glass of wine you know like you have no idea all the things but if you can have a conversation and laugh and smile and like forget about like the vulnerability on the table and still enjoy time then i think it's like hmm yeah that's that's a good one so like for me it's kind of like love yeah like love after first bite you know can we can we get through dinner because that's tough it's tough it's It's not easy that's a good fun question yeah i like that one (laughs) i like that one a lot let's see 
<laughs> oh, where's the next place on your travel bucket list? And why? Mm, that's a good one. So I, I know because uh, I think about it all the time. I would like to live and maybe like forever in London. I've never been to London, but I want to exist in London. I have been obsessed with um, British comedy panel shows for like a decade. Um, Miranda? Miranda, I love, I, I love like, the Jimmy Cars, the Sean Locks, R.I.P. <sighs> Sean Locke is this brilliant comedian and he did a lot of panel shows and he just passed away a couple months ago. And that was like oh. probably the hardest celebrity death I've ever taken. It was. It was really hard. <laughs> it makes me sad. Um But like uh the John Richardsons and the Greg Davies and like all those really great stand-up comedians that just enjoy and like have so much fun just sitting around and like chatting and playing a a game. Like I've just been obsessed with those forever. So it really got me into um, other like elements of like British entertainment. And I just want to like exist over there. I just want to, I just want to experience. And it's weird because it's like, it's not a different culture, right? Like it's not like, it's still like a modern aged culture full of white people and a couple black people right like it's not like i want to uh visit like a third world country or something but i just want i just want a change of pace from the u.s and it's not like the political atmosphere in england is better Right. than the u.s but i don't know it's just there's just something about the energy that i want to i just want to be there and not here i love that for you so london <laughs> is my answer i love that um i've never been anywhere so i would like to go anywhere and uh peak panini i would watch uh, expedia travel videos and my favorite tra- my favorite travel video was Tahiti. And I was like, it just, it just looks so nice. Yeah. And I was like, I I would I would go to Tahiti. I would live in Tahiti. Don't come find me. Don't come get me. Mm. I'ma be in Tahiti. I'm like, see you when I see you. I love that. Still a go to when I'm feeling sad. I'm like, wow. And it's just like ah, it just looks so good. Yeah. That would be See, yeah, see, a lot of people love the beach. I'm not a big beach person. Now that I'm close to the beach, though, I'm kind of soured. I was saying this last night to my friend Bill. I'm kind of soured on the beach because it's like where I nanny. It's literally five minutes down the road. Like mm. you can walk. The The beach is literally just like boop, boop. And I'm like, eh, yeah. I don't really want to go because it's right there. Like I can go anytime and I, I don't want to. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think, I mean, I get so not happy in the heat. I get mm. angsty and I get uh, irritable <laughs> more than normal <laughs> in the heat. And so on a hot, so like a, like a main rocky beach, you know, you have to wear a coat because the breeze is so strong. Like those types of things I love. Mm-hmm. I love. Um, like Newfoundland and Labrador, I would love to go visit because it's just, it's like picturesque mountain, cold ocean life. Cold, like it's just that like, uh, it's like a mini melting pot of like the world because of like the imports, like the ports all there. It's like all the things. So it's like, I would love, I would love that. Like that's like yeah. the ideal, like scenery for me but like a hot florida beach i could i can't i can't i can't do it because the heat would just make me just i don't know what it is i'm just i'm just cold-blooded cold-blooded warm-blooded cold-blooded hot-blooded i got thick blood i'm from the northeast and i'm and i like it (laughs) 
thick blood, baby. Thick okay. Blood. Uh, you pick it. You pick one. Your turn. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is this, okay. So, in the past year, what mm. is the thing that you are most proud of? Oh, that's easy. Oh, wait. I was saying 2022 or like 2021. Let's just say 2021. Oh, I quit my job and moved <laughs> to Florida. <laughs> most proud because like everyone was like, she won't do it. She'll chicken out. She's going to stay. And I was like, say that to my motherfucking face. Because she ring, did it. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> Called the pack rat, said, come get my stuff. Ring, ring. Click. She left, baby. She what left. about you? She's what are gone. You most proud of? She's gone. Um, I had 2021, I believe, was my first full year of being monetized on YouTube uh, for my other channel. And I was just doing my taxes and I made so much more than I thought I was making. Because when yeah. you get a check every month, you're like, mm, you know, that's a that's a check. That's a you know, that has money on it. But when yeah. you add it up for the 12 months, I was like, whoa, wait a minute. You're like that is that was a check, baby. Yeah. Like, that's cool. That's Let's that's keep funny. going, you know, and not yes. because of the money. But it's that great encouragement to say you're you're doing good. You're doing good. Keep it up. You're doing it. You know, keep it up. Like you want some more of this. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep up. Keep up in your game, you know. It was like that kick in the butt because after December, uh, December is like the crazy, like you want to post and post and post and post um, just for like ads and stuff. And, you know, it's like the money making month. And after December, you're just exhausted. January, I was sick. February is insanity at my job. So I don't get to post as much. And so I'm like, I got to get back into it, you know? But like, yeah, that full year, just that year being monetized for an entire year. That was really cool. That was my proudest Love moment. It. Okay. Here's a fun one. What song always gets you out on the dance floor? Oh boy. The first one that came to my brain, and <laughs> this might be extremely disappointing for uh, any musician ever his apple bottom jeans look yes boots with the fur with the fur get low right yeah should i get low 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 everybody's gonna be even more disappointed because mine is fireball by pitfall any you play you play the opening yeah. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. And if it doesn't get played at a wedding that I attend, you will be hearing from my lawyers. It's so we just we just gave it's our not. entire ages away though. So um we just want to dance. I just we uh, we just want to dance. That's all we want to do. We do want we don't care if you're judging. Judge all you want. I don't care. Do whatever you want. I just want to dance and I'm going to need you to take a step back because you're in my way. I got Move. moves for days. Move. <laughs> I went to my friend's office Christmas party where I knew no one except her. Move. 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 And then we were leaving and they were like, you're leaving? And we were like, like yeah, I worked all day. I'm tired. Like, I'm leaving. And they were like, come on. Like, everybody in the party was like, no, don't leave. Like. <laughs> You're the, you're the party. And I was like, I, I'm well aware, but the party is tired. Yeah. The party has things party has to, to do to tomorrow. Bed. So Yeah. She has to go night night. So. But yeah, that's a fun one. I like that one. I mean. That's a good one. When you that hear, gives away a lot. <laughs> when you hear apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur, you just want the whole club to be looking at her. You know, like she deserves she the whole club. She hit the floor. Next thing you know, Shorty got low. <laughs> Low, low. What, what was that one? Low, 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 low. What was that one song? It was like, to the window. To the <laughs> Till the sweat drop down my mouth. Oh, wait, what is it? Oh, okay. I was like, what is the name of that song? I have no idea. 
Oh my god! All right, well we're gonna figure it out. That was the best. That was somebody the best comment. Thing. Yeah, please slap a comment down what's there. What's the I name of that the song? Because that's the title best of that song. song. Everybody knows that song. <laughs> oh my god! That's gonna bug me for the rest of this episode. Hold on, I'm looking it up. You pick a question. I'm gonna look it up. Okay. Let's get low. It's the same song. <laughs> Is that the same song, really? I think that's the same song. Oh, wait, no. Then what the hell is the Apple Bottom Jean song? Apple Bottom Jean. Boys with the fuck? Is it the same song? Let's see. Three, six, nine. Damn your five. Ah, <laughs> Get low. No, that's not the same. It's got to be a different song. But that, so that's Get Low. Well, what that's the heck low. Is the other song? Oh, the other one is just low. Yeah, so I think there's maybe there's two songs called Low and then Get Low. So Get Low is Jordy got down low, the low, backwards. low, low. And then so that one must just be regular low. Low proper and then Get Low. And then Get Low cuz cuz Shorty got low. This was the And now the they're the requesting low. for you to get low. She she went low. They said please stay low. Huh. Yeah, we've 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 broken our brains. Um, I digress. Do you? We're back. I think. Okay. Mm. Do you believe in second chances? All right. It depends. All right. It de- uh, depends on the circumstances. Okay. I'll be real with you. It depends on the circumstances. But what happened? Who did it happen with? I, I guess I would have to like care enough to want to give that second chance because I believe in forgiveness, total forgiveness, but that doesn't mean I have to let you back into my life. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, if it's like a love second chance, it really have to be circumstantial. Okay, so let's uh, set up a scenario then. Ooh, okay, here we go. So let's set up. You had uh, a boyfriend. A boyfriend. A boyfriend. And then <laughs> that boyfriend decided to go on a, what he assumed or would believe to be a friend date. So a evening out with a, another person who was a woman, but they were just friends. Okay. Now, the well, other woman... The other woman uh, thought, no, this isn't a friend date. This is a date date. This is a date date. And <gasps> she, at the end of their friend date date date, gave him a smooch on the lips. <gasps> and maybe a little <laughs> on the butt. <laughs> Just adding to the story. And then, the and then he didn't instantly pull away. Right? So there was a little bit. There was a little bit of a a moment. Just a moment. There was a, a little linger, a little Lulu. And then he did pull away. <laughs> and, and, and then here comes the worst part of the scenario. Oh, no. He doesn't tell you immediately. Right? So he, he, he goes home. You text him like, hey, hope you had a good day. And he's like, yeah, it was okay. You know, hung out with <laughs> so-and-so Tina, right? Yeah, it was like, No yeah, big deal. Tight. So I'm moving like, okay, cool. Glad you had fun. Like, I got work tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Love you. Love you, babe. Love you, babe. But... And then you hear from Tina through the grapevine. <gasps> that I she... hear it from Tina? Mm-hmm. Because she... Oh, if I hear it from Tina, no. Get out. Because if... Because Tina comes up, right? And she's she's talking and blah, blah, blah. Well, right? And you're just, you know, living your day, living living your moment, whatever. And she's just like, blah, blah, blah. And then he kissed me. So you have this moment of... I'm sorry. He kissed you? This is the first time hearing of this. This is the only thing. This is a really long scenario, but we're getting there. And then... Sorry, goes on. There's so many twists and turns. This is a... I am am very creative. And then he... You reach out, and he says, No, no, no. 
Mick, listen, babe, 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 babe. Baby. listen, she kissed me. Well, now you're all lying. Right? Everybody's lying. What do you do? Second chance? And uh, So the first thing that pops into my head is the song, Heard It Through the Grapevine. <laughs> Heard it through the grapevine. Um, if he had told me if he had told me before Tofu Tina told me it would be a different scenario but you didn't tell me no and it looks like maybe you weren't gonna tell me which I also don't appreciate it does look like that but I'll be real I'm sneaky and snooky and I would have sneaked and snooked and I would have I personally would have found out. So good luck keeping that away from me. <laughs> and uh, I, this is not a very Jesusy thing that I listen. I'm fully aware. I'm working on it. Okay, but I like to gather my information, tuck it in my jacket, button that bad bitch up, <laughs> and save that shit for a rainy day. Or if I need it. Uh, but if Tofu Tina came talking out of her neck at me about kissing my man, <laughs> listen, he's probably a good kisser, I'm assuming. Haven't met him yet. Um, however, please keep your lips to yourself. Mm. And also, you, sir, come here. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> what you're not gonna fucking do. So is the second yeah. chance death? <laughs> uh, you get a second chance yeah. at me and this butcher knife. You get a second chance at life because if you believe in reincarnation, you're gonna Ooh. come back as you know an ant or a cockroach. A cockroach. Yeah, that's a no for me. That particular scenario is a no for me. It'd be different if he had told me himself. Mm. first okay you know it's like yeah. my mom always used to say like you know don't don't lie to me don't not just come and tell me don't let me find out right just come and tell me what about you mm. i hate second chances yeah also depends i guess on how long you've been together i i'm i'm petty yeah right like i'm petty um i'm secret petty i tuck it in i i'm not <laughs> like I don't. Petty, petty. I don't want to give you a second chance. Like, I don't. I don't want to. No, there's things and people, you know, yeah. that I do. But like, I don't know. Let's say, let's just take that scenario. No, no second chances. Not no a one. Chances. Not even. Not even a thought. Just okay. Bye. See ya. <laughs> you told me maybe see you Probably later because there's like a lot that i can't get over but like maybe that's a good question though yeah yeah we, yeah, we yeah. love a scenario <laughs> that's a good one all right lily here's a fun question what qualities do you look for in a boss if any or do you want to be your own boss Oh, I would, I would, I very much want to be my own boss. I want to be everyone's boss. I'm a Virgo. Ooh, um, I like to be the boss. Um, but I've Fair. found that a boss, communication is literally the most, I think, important thing when it comes to any type of tiered situation. You know, if there's one or two people at the top, there needs to be communication that only like teachers could dream of you know you mm. have to communicate well you have to communicate yes. frequently and you have to communicate uh with ease like it has to it has to come easy to you because if you even have four people working underneath you they everyone yeah. needs to be on the same page at all times because if not, it, it, things break down. That's the first yep. thing that, that ruins any type of business, you know, is the communication. Someone said something, but the people who needed to know never found out because they weren't told. 
you know and i my day job i i have a a boss who attempts to communicate and uh attempts to have a conversation with uh like me in sort of like the managerial situation uh but any type of well i think we should try this way gets totally uh diminished because oh. i'm not the boss True. but i'm the person who's there every single day you're the worker bee working with every single other employee to yeah. make sure that they're doing what needs to be done and the boss shows up three times a year now this is the boss that's the owner right the owner yeah okay. yeah and the owner themselves have another boss oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh but they're real big suit wearing people. So gotta have those big wigs. Oh, and they're the worst. Where, I, girl, you don't have to tell me. I worked in in corporate in a grocery store. You don't have to tell me. They bug me. They're the no absolute shade. worst. No shade. Love you guys up there. I so there was one boss in particular that I had at the grocery store. I don't think he will watch this, so I'm gonna shout him out. Tommy, Tommy tsunami, my guy. My baby, my boom. He was the best boss that I have ever had. And when they promoted me to seafood manager, I wanted to be like him because he was just that good. He made you feel like a person. He made you feel seen. He was like, you do the job, you know, and he's right there with you, right next to you, doing it with you. And he'll show you the best way that he thinks it should be done. But if you're doing it every day, you know the best way to do it. So he's Mm -hmm. like, you know, you tell me. And if you F up, he'll he'll come to you he'll take he'll be like hey can we just like have a little chat very loving very kind like he's like you know this is what you're doing really well this is what i see that you could improve upon and like if you're being naughty like i usually was um i'm perfect in every way if you're being naughty like i usually was he would just very nicely call you out on it be like you know mick chick can't be leaving early every single day (laughs) and i'm like but my work is done. And right. I don't want to stay here till eight. And he's like, you have to stay. Please stop leaving early. And um, <laughs> so when I was promoted to seafood manager, it was kind of the same thing. And I get totally understand what you're saying about the communication. You, if you, and as a manager, when I was a manager, I would just be like, let's huddle up. This is what Tom would do. This is what the rest of the company started to do. We did it first and be like, all right, listen, this is what we have to do for the day. Like, these are the big wigs that are showing up. Mm -hmm. Like just the communication is so, and making your people feel like people yeah, and not just like cogs yeah, in the corporate machine. And I I think it's really important that your, your boss is like with you, you know, Oh, in the trenches. Yeah. And Tom, Tom was totally, and I was like, wow. I don't want to be a manager because I just want to work under you for the rest of my life because you're so great. Ooh, but yeah. that's a good question. I like that. Good yeah. qualities in a boss are, that's important. I, it definitely is important. And it, I wish it was more prevalent when, while looking for a job mm-hmm. because every boss wants to know about you. True. Like what's your management style? Right. You. And like, i all you're doing is whatever they tell you to do. Right. So how are you going to tell me to do my job? How are you? <laughs> right. You try to tell me what to do. Right. Sorry, I'm Especially like, and I, I'm not familiar with like a sit down in office. What are right. they? Cubicle job. Cubicle scenario. kind of job. I can't, yeah. I could never do that. Uh, I am on my feet all day and I like mm. being on my feet all day. I work with my hands. Like I work with my brain. I work, you know, with physical people coming in. I could never sit. Uh, I couldn't do it. My entire nervous system would just explode. And, uh, you know, some people like it and some people are, you know, people are really good at it and that's good for them great you know i love paperwork i just can't i can't i can't do it i like to do both i like a little hybrid you know (laughs) like so when i was in the store it was like a lot of paperwork so i got to go upstairs and like yeah but then it was like a lot of like i would do the setup i would you know get the Mm. get the department set for the i would go in and i was oh i was such a good boss to these people and they hated me (laughs) you bug me oh not they didn't all hate me but they could have done better like just try a little bit for sake fuck yeah like I set you up. I set you up perfectly. I got you, baby, because mm-hmm. I don't want a headache. 
and I guess it comes from the Pisces inside of me, which is like, I know how to do it. I know how it needs to be done. And I'm just going to do it because nobody else knows how to do it as well as I can do it. So if I just do it yeah. and all you maintain, all I'm asking you to do is cut the salmon into one pound pieces, <laughs> put it on the fucking ice. I'm not asking for it. It takes two seconds. <laughs> here, here. You're done. Mm-hmm. Why? I don't know why that was so difficult. Oh. I really did like that job. Yeah. It was easy for me because it was like, you know, the same thing every day. Anyway, as, I digress. As someone who would buy a fish from yeah. the store that you, you used to work at, not the f- actual same physical right, store. The, cha- the chain. The chain. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was always the worst part. Yep. Was that you would uh, get two, pi- two pieces. So drastically different in size. So drastically oh, different. The size of your hand is about a pound, okay? They come in about two and a half, three pound mm-hmm. long fillets. <laughs> but then people get mad because sometimes they get the tail. Like, listen, not everybody can have the head, okay? You got here late, that's not my fault. Right. I'm not cutting off the tail for you. And so. they, it was, yeah. It, but, I mean, it's good quality. It was pretty good quality. It was good quality. Yeah, Never had an issue with say, that. Never had an issue with that. Their, their ish is pretty good. All right, next question. <laughs> next question. Uh, question. Okay, so let's do. When will you know? Okay. When will oh. you know? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. When will you know you've made it? When I watch my sitcom on Hulu. And when I wave to my mom in her box seats on Broadway. Love it. Hey, mom. I love it. Also, like, how do you remember the words? Because I'm like, wow, what if I, like, like, what if you freeze? And you're like, what are the words? Anyway. Yeah. So how will you know you've made it, Lily? How will I know I've made it? How are you going to know? How will I know? So, uh, speaking on just my other YouTube channel, um, just for that situation, yeah. Uh, when that can fully support itself, Ooh. uh, when that can bring in enough money for the channel for daily uploads, for live streams, and to pay and cover all of my bills. And, you know, like a monthly stipend for whatever, like the recess funds, you know, like you go see a movie or something like that. Once yeah. that is fully stable, that's when I will know that I've made it on that specific YouTube channel. She's made it. When it comes to myself making it, um, hmm. I don't have any like qualifications like, oh, I need a blue check mark on stuff or uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm rather sell out for fame and money, you know, like, no, uh, for me, I want to be my own boss. I want I to that. create what I want to create. I want what I create to be viewed and I want to be happy with it and feel confident with it. That's like the biggest thing for me is being confident in what I'm doing and having the time and ability to be confident in what I'm doing, to sit down and fully understand a program or sit down and like master, you know, like some, something and, uh, and then have people come to me and say, how you, that was good. Can you show me how to do it? Mm. That for me is like, that's what I want. I love that. Yeah. Oh, and like to have like a really good merch line. So, mm-hmm. and like, we like, love a, merch. like a merch line that's like its own, like, company. You know, like I don't want just like oh, merch, you know, like I want to yeah, design yeah. clothes that people who enjoy my content would enjoy. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> That's what I want. I'd always have these long-winded answers to these questions. I and think Vicky's that's like, great. Broadway. Really <laughs> I, I, I was like, I know how I know. How am I going to know? I fucking know. Yeah. I'm like, one more, baby. 
And Ooh. like that was my that was my dream when I was a kid. You know, I wanted to 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 be a uh, to be on Broadway and be in movies and the Broadway. I was I auditioned for Made when I was in high school. MTV Made. Yes. Uh, they came to my high school and I auditioned, and I wanted to be like a Disney Channel star, right? Like sure. I wanted like my own Disney Channel show, and they were like. No, we're going to go with the kid who wants to skateboard. And I'm like, Ugh. fuck that kid. You jerk. All right, wait, let's see. There's one that I like. And you drink. Oh, here's a fun one. What is your most prized possession? Mm. Do you have one? If you have one, you might not have one. My mental health. No, I. <laughs> and thank you for watching Possible Outcomes. <laughs> Thanks for watching Possible Outcomes. Bye. Me. My most prized possession. That's a really good question. It's a thinker. Yeah, because I don't. Um. Uh. So like, I have. Uh. I love Pusheen. Uh. Pusheen is like this cartoon cat. Yes. I'm in my 30s. Um, Amazing. Pusheen is like this cartoon cat, and I get a Pusheen box like four times a year, and it has all these oh Pusheen God. things in it. It has blankets and like raincoats and ice cream bowls and straws and notepads and pens and all the things that are Pusheen, and I love them. And Pusheen. I just don't like my apartment enough to actually decorate my apartment with them because we really were looking to transition to a new home and ideally I would have an office in that home and uh, I would very much like my office to be covered wall to wall in Pusheen Uh, so I have many 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 boxes of Pusheen items just like hoarded away in my apartment just waiting waiting. to be exposed to the world and uh, so yeah I think that's you know, my most prized possessions and my Starbucks tumblers. Mm. Gosh, I'm lame. No, you're not. You're great. I'm trying to think. So I have, so I'm a journaler and I have literally two like hunkin' boxes filled with journals from the past. Like, I don't know. I really started journaling in like 2014, I guess. Like on the real, real. Um, so it's toss up between those because that's my life, literally my life in page form and, um, the scrapbook I got, uh, as a Christmas present, birthday present. Uh, so it's a toss up between my journals, my two giant boxes filled with journals or, um, I don't know, they're really close. All right. Because the other gift, it was a gift from my sister, Mm. um, filled with trippy from the day. And I'm like, well, if this apartment was on fire, what would I grab? I would grab that book. Right. So. Right. Yeah. Those two. Aww. My little googie. So cute. That's a good. That's a good answer. Yeah. That's a good question too. I don't really think. Think about. Yeah. Like I don't have. I just have things. I don't really have things that I can like care about. Care about. Yeah. You know, like if my neighbor's cat was in my apartment, I'd grab it. But it's also not my cat. Meow. Just lives here and eats here and sleeps here and plays here. So it's your cat. So it's my cat. I mean, my boyfriend is does my boyfriend count as a possession? Yeah, grab him. Yeah, yeah he does. <laughs> Twenty twenty two, baby. <laughs> he belongs Throw to him me. Over your shoulder. Yeah. He belongs to me. So <laughs> he's mine. That's a good. That's he's a her. really good question. It's a fun one. I, I like, like that one. <gasps> Jinx, you want me to All right, what do you want to do? Oh, okay. Do you have... Okay, do you have any pet peeves? Do you have any pet she, peeves? She does. Uh, <laughs> people that stick their fingers in their mouth at the dinner table. I, I get I get it. Maybe you have something stuck in there, but you fucking... Makes me want to puke. It makes me want to vomit. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just makes me want to puke. Yeah, um, and I'm sure I have others, but that's like the, <laughs> when I think about things that make me want to do violence, it's that. That's a good one. 
Stop. That's a good one. Get a t- excuse yourself and get a toothpick. What mm-hmm. about you? Um, yeah, so I like, I like the one, you know, where people lick their fingers to get through Ah! paper. Or my favorite now, since we currently exist in inside of a multi-year pandemic, is they take their mask down and then lick and then, yeah, and then put their mask back on. So that's ideal for me. Um, but my biggest one, uh, so I have a thing with, um just talking about it i have a thing with uh snot sorry i can't so this is why i can't have children because it i i have like the boogery i only have i only have one gag reflex and it comes to snot and so when someone hawks hawks a loogie i'm sorry i can't even talk about it when something you know they do that she doesn't like it people and they gather it Again. She's gonna puke. Oh, Don't my puke. god, no, it's so bad. I can't even talk about it. It makes me sick. I rode the bus, public transportation, for many years. Just honestly, at some points, it's easier. Just hop on the bus. And uh, on the bus. many ahead. times at bus stops, they what people w- no. would do it, and I can't. It makes me so sad because I can't control, I can't control it. Like, I can watch, like, real life surgeries, um, and I, but I can't, I can't do the, oh my god. Nope. She can't do it. She's had enough. That's one of my biggest What's your pet favorite? Peeves. <laughs> What's your favorite ice cream topping? My favorite ice cream topping is probably hot fudge. Ooh, I'm a nice basic. Whipping. I'm a basic. I want hot fudge. I'm vanilla ice cream. I put whipped cream on anything mm-hmm. and everything. From Take that for what it is. Cool Whip or the nope. Ooh. Can baby. I'm not a can girl. Ooh, cans only. Cans only for Vicky girl. V. She can't do the Cool Whip. That's a fun one though. <laughs> um. Oh, what's the last thing you read? What's the last book you read <laughs> or thing you read? I mean, it could be an article, whatever. <laughs> What's the last video you watched on Facebook? <laughs> yeah, right. What's the last video you watched on TikTok? The last thing I read. Well, I I read. Um, like I get sent from my father articles from like New York Times and stuff. Uh, yeah. from like two weeks worth of stuff. So I read a lot of those. Um, the last one, last thing I read was an article on Ukraine and mm. Russia which is just disturbing and upsetting and it makes me want to yeah. scream from my rooftops. So that was the last thing I read. Yeah, it was like an online article about kind of breaking down what's going on. Damn. Not cool. The last thing I read, the last book I read, I guess, I'll just say the last book I read. Uh, It's called Grace Eventually, Thoughts on Faith by Anne Lamott. Hmm. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. She's a bad bitch. (laughs) And her writing is incredible. Very, very easy read. Because I just, the last book I read was like choppy. Mm. I couldn't, I didn't hear the cadence of the voice very well in the writing. And I never thought I was a book snot, but apparently I am. And like, if it's hard to read, I'm like, Let's skip to the good part. We should start a book club and uh, oh, do like a weekly roundup on a book. Love for a book club. All right, you go. Last uh, one. Make it good. Do you believe in soulmates? Oh, yeah. <laughs> soulmates for friends? Absolutely. Family. I do. Uh, Sammy B, people. Love her. Um, For love? No. No. Because love is a choice, and I refuse to believe that there's only one perfect person out there for me, because what if there was a tragedy, and I got married, and my husband is working on an oil rig, and the oil rig blows up and he dies, and I'm the ripe young age of 32. Yeah, I'm gonna get married again. Love you, husband. (laughs) Love you, future husband that I haven't met yet. That may or may and not I'm back on ride. Tinder. 
and we're back. That's cool. And I was like, and I was like, huh, huh. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I believe that you can, you know, I think it's, I think it's a choice and you both have to choose. And I don't think there's just one perfect person. I think there is a best for people, mm. but I think there's probably multiple bests depending on what you want for your life. You know? Okay. What about you? What do you think? I think that I think that there's one person that's meant to, to like get you like they told like they get you right I think there's one person in the world that's like has that they like they're built as like a USB port right like they are they you guys can come together and you're not in like a sexual way no, no, no. But you guys can come together and you're just like two peas in a pod. You know, like yeah. it's it's so it's easy and it's perfect. And I, you know, if you are in love with that person or if you're best friends with that person or if, you know, you're that person's twin, you know, or something like that, I think that there I think that there's at least one person that will find you and know you without even having to tell them like I think that there's that one person um I don't necessarily know if it's like always going to be someone's husband or wife or right you know it could be their dog I don't know um but yeah so I think that there's like always that for everybody but I think you know everyone finds it at different different times and sometimes it's uh someone that you probably should give a second chance to oh Circle. Mm. Oh, the circle. <laughs> That's just what I think, and I got lucky, um, because mine's my boyfriend, you know, and it's been what eight I years. It. I like that. That's a good answer, Will. Almost big time. Yeah. So I think that's enough questions for today. If. Uh, if you have questions that you want to ask either myself or Mick or both of us together, won't you let us know in the comment section? That would be awesome. I would love to do a part two because we have yeah. more questions and, uh, you know, what do you guys want to know about us? That'd be really cool. <laughs> mm. Um, thank you all so much for tuning in to this week's episode of possible outcomes. Uh, we are a new podcast situation, so feel free to, uh, you know, let us know, hook us up with some, uh, quick comments concerns criticism whatever critiques be gentle you know gentle. kindly easily um <laughs> softly we are artists and we are sensitive about our shit um yeah. and uh yeah. we will see you all in the next one don't forget to uh, subscribe before you go like and subscribe and we'll see you we'll see you later okay that's bye. it bye, bye. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.